Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing yet another album review as this was a big weekend. A lot of anticipated albums came out, including this one. It's the 13th studio album from Canadian artist Dan Behar, aka Destroyer. Now if you've heard the name Dan Behar before, you've probably heard it because of Dan's groups that he has. He's in the band New Pornographers, which started in 2000, has released a lot of critically acclaimed records like Mass Romantic, Twin Cinema, and Challengers. And he was also in the supergroup with Wolf Parade's Spencer Krug, known as Swan Lake. Dan Behar is a very interesting personality in music, to say the least. He's always strived to bring a different sound to each of his Destroyer records. They sound down... They started out very folky, kind of, in the beginning, and then grew to be very jazzy in the 2010s with his excellent record from 2011, Kaput. I first heard him due to his 2006 record, Destroyer's Rubies, and the song Paint Her In Your Pocket. On this new album, Labyrinthitis, over here, this is an experience that I don't think Dan was really anticipating to be as good as it was he said he's always experimenting and some ideas just don't click but he still tries to pursue the sound and give it his fullest well, ladies and gentlemen this is pure art this record is so unlike anything dan has done with destroyer before while the last couple records like have we met from 2020 poison season and ken we all had different kind of jazz and kind of blue-eyed soul, but different alternative sounds. This one, it's time to get your funk on, ladies and gentlemen, because Dan Behar of Destroyer has some great electronics and funk instrumentation on this record, and this album is pure fun. I never thought I'd say that about a Destroyer album, but between Dan's creative poetry and songwriting that he does on these songs as well as the electronics and the instrumentation, this is a very diverse and fun record. The first single we heard from this album was Tinneretto, It's For You, followed by Eat the Wine, Drink the Bread. Both of them are very different songs. They both have a different vibe to them. I will say, I do prefer Tinneretto, It's For You, because it's more explosive. It doesn't kind of just lounge out and vibe out the way that eat the wine drink the bread does however i do like both songs on this record you'll see that dan is very keen on the beats the finites of the beats as well as his poetry syncing those up with the words and that he's saying as we go through songs like suffer which kind of come in and are just they clash with the lyrics but it's a good type of clash it's almost like they're playing off of each other and this is one that borrows a lot from the 90s alternative scene but also from some older 70s funk and it's a good good song it's one of the best songs on this record i wasn't a fan of it when i first heard it but the song grew on me immensely if there has to be one song on this record that I'm not really keen on, it has to be the, the title track, Instrumental. I like the little vo voices of, I don't know if they're kids, his kids, relatives' kids, I think. But it's just when the choppy sample comes in and it kind of derails the rest of the instrumental, I think it gets kind of messy, and I'm not really a fan of that. However, there are very few hang-ups on this record. I will say that as far as Destroyer albums go, it's going to see where this one ranks. Because like I said, it's so different from a lot of his records. He borrowed from Springsteen a lot, but now he seems like to be going through the decades here. As the song All My Pretty Dresses is almost like a Britpop kind of sounding song. It has these punchy rhythms with these really, really smooth guitars. I love the way this one just belts, and Dan is putting those hard-hitting lyrics down. He is not going, he's not laying up anytime soon. There's poems about, you know, our modern political culture, about social issues, about his personal life on some of these songs, and we've all known that he has been a, just a great songwriter when it comes to lyrics, but here, he knocks it out of the damn park on almost every single song. Every single song feels so meaningful in the lyrics. It's almost like you get more enjoyment from reading the lyrics than hearing the instrumentals. 
they are just such an essential part of this record. The song The States is another one that has that those electronics, those synth pop tones, those funk tones. And it is such a danceable song. You cannot move, stop moving your feet to this song. And even though it does seem over long, I do enjoy the ending with a little ambient synth. I think it adds a lot to this track, which puts it up in the track listing, in my opinion. I guess there's only one song to talk about left, and that is the best song on this album, which is June. What a song, ladies and gentlemen. What a song. This is another bouncy cut. It's a bouncy, synthy, funky, kind of poppin' bass groove, guitars. I mean, the synths, just everything about this song works. The lyrics, even though there are some funny parts, like when he says, fucking idiot, sings it like that, it just, it makes me laugh. It makes me smile. He clearly is just having a good time on this track. It shows a lot of his character, a lot of his charisma, and that's really what I appreciate about this song. I love this song. It's one of my favorites, and it's probably going to be one of my favorites of the year. This is just such a great even an intro track, if you're trying, if you have a playlist of his songs, hey, listen to these five Destroyer songs, I'd put June on that playlist. This album also is very artistic in just the way that you can kind of get a sense that nature is also a theme. Exploring nature as probably the artwork and some of the songs on here, like Tinaretto and Eat the Wine, Drink the Bread, as I said earlier. Guys, this is certainly an album's album, and it's just so difficult ranking these albums now because already, only three months into the year, we've had so many good albums. I might have to do a top 20. I was thinking of a top 15 albums. I might have to push it up. There's just been so many good records coming out. And I personally am loving this new Destroyer record. I'm going to be definitely listening to it, picking it up on CD and vinyl. And I'm giving Labyrinthitis by Destroyer a strong 4.5 out of 5. Now that's my, just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I also want to say thank you guys so much for over 130 views on my Wallows review. I was not anticipating that many reviews. Some nice comments. It's just, it means a lot to me because I didn't think, you know, I'm just some dude on YouTube. You know, I have a full-time job. You know, I have bills to pay and stuff. But it doesn't, I didn't really think my opinion was that important. But thank you guys so much. Also, my two new subscribers, it really does mean a lot. So thank you. Please like this video if you're a Destroyer fan. Let me know what you thought of it. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Have a good one.